very good evening, everyone. I hope you are well. It's six o'clock, which means we have a brand new one day special for you. One day special is launched every day at 6 p.m. It's a discounted product, a fabulous price, but it's only for 24 hours or while stocks last, of course. This is your very first show, so you're here at good times. Great to have your company. And it's all about being creative with fabrics. And I'm not alone. You know that. I have the wonderful Hayley Smith with me. Hello. I was just cutting some stuff out. Sorry. <laughs> just getting some stuff ready for then, later. Hayley. For later. How are you, Hayley? I, I'm very good. This is a very special one day special, as in it is all only here. Um, things happened a little bit last minute. Right. Which I'm not going to lie about. It was a little, some things were a little bit last minute. So um, none of this is even on our Craft Yourself City website. Yeah, so, so it's, it's all very brand new. spanking new. So am I right saying you can only get these here? Uh, the, just about the whole counter you can wow. only get here. How exciting is that? Right. Now, there are two options on your one-day special. You've got your vintage or your hint of colour. Still both very vintage in their style of tickets and ephemera that you have on the fabric there. But one's vintage, so you've got those lovely sepia brown colours, and then the one is your touch of colour. Now, included in the kit, you also get buttons, which correspond colour-wise to the projects that you're working with, which is excellent. You've got this gorgeous, what is it, a combination of twine and wool, our Hayley? Uh, yes, so you're getting uh, lots of different fibres in there. So there are some kind of fluffy fibres that you can kind of pull apart and... Oh, see, I twisted them up beautifully and look what she's gone and done. Well, I thought to myself, yes, they looked beautiful twisted <laughs> up. It's all, it's, it's, you still have the twisted up one at yeah, the front. Um, it's nice to see 20 the different fibres They're all got. a metre and a half each. Yes. And you've got loads of choice in there. You've got all those kind of nice vintagey colours, some of which you're going to maybe use on their own, some of which you're going to split up even further and just have a really good play with. Because this is all about kind of adding texture to your work. You've got a little uh, piece that's kind of halfway through under the counter, which starts to show you how this comes together. And there's uh -huh. actually enough stuff in the kit yes. to make a quilt that is, I think it's 37 inches by 42 inches. Wow. And that, I'm talking everything is in there. So, so you're this gonna... is an example of what you could do. So the only thing you need to add to this is you need to add some scraps of your fabric and we'll show you how to start putting this together um, in a minute. But what you've got is you've got the five and a half inch roll, which is going to be your calico, which is going to be your base to create those collage pieces. That's the taller of the two rolls. Yes. Then you've got your smaller roll, which um, is in a, an ivory quilting cotton. That's what you're going to use in between everything for your borders and your binding as well. There's enough to do your binding there too. And then you get the backing fabric, which is a metre by, I think it's one metre 40. Yes. Of, uh, again, the corresponding ivory fabric, and that's quilting Lovely. cotton as well. And then on top of that, you're getting your ephemera sheet in whichever colour way you want. You are getting 30 metres worth of fibres, and you are getting the coordinating buttons as well. Now, this tool here, Hayley, tell me about this. So that's your binding tool. That will allow you to create the binding strips that you are going to need to make uh, the, the edge to go around your quilt to finish it off. Beautiful. What an absolutely fantastic deal. All you need to do, well, you don't need to do anything. You could have both if you wanted to, absolutely. It's going to be available to you on FlexiBuy, which means just... £20 today, we'll send out your kit to you. And if you do want to go for both of them, then the price will be double that. So it'll be £40 today and £40 in a month's time. Something a little bit different and something that you could actually turn into a keepsake as well. Really love the design of these. And I think you're going to be uh, fascinated when you get them home to have a look at all the different tickets Those on there. From cinema to buses to admission. over 100. I was trying to count them before the show. There's over 100, and I think there's even over 110, but I might have missed a few out. So uh, I would I would say there's 110 plus. Now, are they there. the same design on each panel? Uh, one's colour and yes, one's... Yes, uh, they're the same designs, but one's colour and, and one's not. Um, but the no, there's no two um, elements on there that are the same. Love that. So you've got 110 individual elements, That's which you brilliant. can add on to your design. 
are they from proper real tickets? They're not because right. we didn't we weren't sure whether we were allowed to use them or not. Yes. So um, they're, they're to all sorts of things, and you know, there's ones in there to, to cinemas. There's ones in there which just say 50p, and it doesn't say what it's to. Could be to anything. <laughs> there's bus tickets, there's tram tickets, train tickets. You Love name that. it, they're Love on that. there. I think it's brilliant, isn't it? It's nice to just sit and reminisce as well. Something like this, a project like this, will give you that chance because there might be a style of ticket, a style of font in here, or something that just brings back a memory for you. Uh, we've got one here, what's this? Angry versus frantic. There's some wrestling tickets in Very there good. as well. <laughs> Very good, I love that. Um, excellent, right, choose and decide which project you want to go for. 291329 is your item number. Right now. Now, let's talk about on a roll because this is something fairly new yes uh, so, that you have uh what we have is we have a ginormous gripping machine and it chops things up into rolls into what we call reels because obviously these are um the full fabric comes on a huge yes. big long roll and we're slitting it up into these smaller reels so uh we did a one day special a couple of i think it's two months ago actually yeah, i think it was um, where we launched all of the plain colours. And the first thing everybody said is, when are your patterns coming out? <laughs> so that's exactly what we've done. We've yeah. brought, uh, these are like a raindrop spot. They're not a really kind of crisp round dot. Yeah. Because when you um, roll the fabric for slitting, if it um, isn't, that doesn't come from the factory rolled exactly spot on then that's going to look a little bit off and that's why we went for this raindrop spot which is absolutely perfect because those little drops go in all sorts of directions and you can get a really kind of nice effect from these and it's just a little bit more irregular which means that it you're going to not need as much accuracy when you're sewing things together because it's you're not kind of focusing entirely on those kind of round regular shapes of the spots now there's 40 meters on each roll two and a half inches in width and we've got some beautiful colors they all go perfectly together so you have the coral which is a gorgeous color next to that is your mango a nice mustard color then we've got some blues down the bottom for you you've got strong as steel and then you've got almost blue now you can have more than one if you want to it'd be nice to color match um one three six four one three is your item number absolutely fantastic deal and let's like move on because we've got more meters on each of those 20 meters on each 20. of those where did i see 40 oh sorry 40. that's that's me fibbing yes. it's 40 meters on it those is. that was my fault and that's equivalent to two and a half meters of fabric if yes. you had it as a whole big yeah. piece. So 40 metres on those rolls. We're moving on to our next set for you. Uh, and these are your batiks and these are 30 metres. And what I like about this, you can see we've got the colour changing. So you've got a little taster, well, quite a large taster of each yes, colour on here. 10 metres of each on these. So if you think about when you use a jelly roll and uh, it swaps between lots of different colours and it gives you maybe metre, maybe metre 10 in each strip, this means you don't have to join them. Yes. It comes as one continue, long, continuous piece. So if you're wanting to, especially for your borders, your binding, your edging, where usually your one metre piece would then be a problem because you're going to have to have a join in the middle of your border of your quilt, then this kind of takes all of that away. It's beautiful, isn't it? Love this blue. And the pattern of, uh, of similar to that will run all the way through for your different uh, colours. And that one is your stained glass marble. The next one we have for you, this is your ice, ice baby. Bum, bum, uh, well, because bum, all bum, the honour roll bum. ones are uh, named after songs. Are they? Absolutely every single colourway. Emma takes a long time doing this. <laughs> this takes longer than probably cutting stuff up. Is coming up with the names for everything. For for these batik ones or for well, ev for absolutely everything. What song is Coral then? Uh, I, Emma finds them, not me. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. Well. Emma finds that... them, not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one is your ice ice baby. Uh, fantastic colours in there as well. Twenty-one pounds and ninety-nine pence. Thirty meters on each, and you're saving three pounds fifty. So, Let's move on because we've got sets of three for you now. Yes, and these really sets like of the collections three, of colours that you've got here. So the start. These, oh, they're individual. Sorry. These are kind of. They're in. We've put them in the sets because the three colours that you see on that top set are in that top combined roll. So if you like mm -hmm. the individual colours or you, you want to extend more. one of your rolls with an extra colour, 
then this is the way to do it. These are all 20 meters. So that's equivalent to one, point two, one and a quarter, 1.25 meters of fabric. And um, yes, the stickers on, so Janice knows which one's which. <laughs> um, but I can't actually read them. So you didn't there put you your go. glasses on. It's not about my glasses, it's about the colour you've used on the tape. We could talk about that all night, but let's stop there. <laughs> okay, the so first one is Marble Peach. Marble Peach. Yes. And then you've got... Oh, I can't see that from here. No, nor can I. You see, you've got the same problem as well, me. I've got to tell you, it's miles away, though. You've now, the blue another... one here is your... Do you know what? Pebbles I've, and marbles. I think I've got a list. I've got that one. And then you've got the green one. I will have to find my glasses, actually. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Get your, get your glasses out. Because the, the promise... top set there, they're all kind of marble themed. And then <laughs> the bottom set uh, are all ice themed Pebbles because of marble. the way that they're Pebbles dyed. Pebbles and marbles, I was right with that one. And then you've got marble peach, which is the top. And then you've got the marble moon. Thank you very much. Uh, then you've got the bottom set. That one is your is river of ice. Ice themed. River of Ice. That one is your Walking on Thin Ice, which seems I am at the moment. And then you've got Cold as Ice. Cold of Ice. So you can buy these individually, £16.99. If you are going for the mixed roll, this is a way of extending one of the colours in that particular roll. Right, let's move on. We've got the sparkle in the rolls. Now we do have this in larger pieces of fabric, but let's start you with the rolls. Okay. And you've got City of Gold, some gorgeous colours in here. Yes. So you've got sparkle. your kind of creamy colour, your sandy colour and your beigey colour in that. And when we get to the individual metres, you'll see all of these colours much more clearly because we've laid them all out. We try to lay them um, so that the sets were together as well. So you could see. So if you have a look on the... Um, uh, we'll, we'll get to them in a minute. We'll have a look. We'll Let's have get a look to them in a minute. So I want to ask you we'll a question about the sparkly bits. This will be the first question. Can we wash it? Will the sparkle stay? Okay, your uh, sparkles, yes, you can wash. It's a 30 degree wash and uh, there's, it does advise not to tumble dry it. Okay. As well. Perfect. So uh, you've also got your ruby shoes. And then you've got your sapphire moonlight. So let's show you those colours because so you can only see the outside. Ruby on shoes those. is uh, two different pinks, like a rose pink and a more of a fuchsia pink, and a purple as well. And your moonlight one that is a turquoisey blue. You've got a like a sky blue in there, and you've also got a really kind of nice light grey in there as well. Beautiful. Perhaps I'll pop them that way, and then you won't read the stickers at home. Not that there's anything bad on it. There you no, go. There's no swearing on the stickers. It's just to tell you which ones they were. Yes. Eight <laughs> nine four eight three seven is your item number. So, on this um, set, what I'll do is, I'll, as we come to what's on the rolls, I will tell you uh, which ones they are on the rolls. Okay. So. This Go is a pick and mix. You can choose any three. They're half meters, but you're also getting your pattern. Well, it's two patterns, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's two, two patterns. bag patterns. Uh, one is to make a fabulous bag, and the other one is to make another fabulous bag. Full instructions, full pattern, everything in there. So you get both of those patterns with your pick and mix. You choose any two. £17.99. Let's take you through. Sorry, any... Three. Let's take you through the colour options. OK, so you've got ruby, which is a beautiful red. Now, are these batiks as well? Uh, they're, they're not a true batik because yeah. they are actually, the de design is printed on there first, but it's got a kind of a mottled batik style background. And then on the top of that, you've got that really kind of fine dusting of glitter on yeah, top, like which that. just adds a lovely shimmer to everything. Like that. Next is the Moonstones. A uh, nice pink, isn't it? Nice and lovely and bright. So that's the kind of uh, the rose type pink. The fuchsia pink that's that, next that to it. Yep, you've got yeah. all three of so those All there. three of those in there. Uh, your roll. next one is your pink sapphire, so a deeper pink. We've got your amethyst, which is absolutely beautiful. Next along, that's a nice purple. Um, next along, you've got your onyx, your onyx, which is a nice grey. And then you've got your sapphire, the beautiful deep midnight blue sky. You've also got your opal, like your opal. That's so nice, now we're coming it? into the colours that are on that, um, I think it's moon something roll. There you go, that yeah. one. So that's your first colour that's on there. And that is on your that's on the outside. sapphire moonlight. And then, and then you've got your 
topaz. So we, that one's not on the roll, but then no. the next two but the next are. two are, which is your Lucy in the Sky. And then you've got your Black Pearl. That's nice. It's not, it's not really black. It's like a, a dusky, marbly grey. Yeah, I think that one would go with an awful lot of things. Yeah, it's, it's, got, would. Uh, it's got a lot of potential, that one. Really and like that one. the one next to it, actually. Yeah, the Mother of Pearl. That is beautiful. That really is. That is nice. And it just adds to that detail with that sparkle. Next along is Golden Brown. Texture like sun. Then you've... Oh. 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 Hang on. Okay. Oh, no. It's not my fault. Uh, diamonds are a girl's best friend. There you go, is the next one. You've got gold finger. <laughs> He's a man. Uh, then you've got... See, you recognise some of the Emerald. songs. <laughs> I recognise most of the songs. I just don't... I don't recognise coral as a song, but it might be. Um, and then you've got uh, your emerald, which is absolutely sensational. It is a pick and mix. Choose any three. They are half metre pieces, £17.99. 185845 is your item number. We've got more fabrics to show you. Then we've got some great demonstrations coming up from our Hayley. What have we got to look forward to, Hayley? Uh, we're going to do the one day special. We're going to uh, start from scratch and almost do it like a craft along and do a bit each hour. Yes. And show you exactly how we came up with that. Perfect. Uh, Excellent. That and all so shows far. will be available on rewind as well now we've got some limited edition for you these are absolutely gorgeous i keep changing my mind as to which one's my favorite now we're already busy for all of these so 22 meters yes wow so they are weird numbers because um i'll be completely honest to put together this show is a nightmare because everything should have come to us on rolls it didn't it all arrived on bolts and they all arrived with weird numbers of amounts of meters on so we thought fine let's just Go with it. Uh, so yes, some are in weird quantities like 22 meters, but okay. that's because the bolts came to us with Still 11 lot, meters though, and 11 meters yeah. on, and we thought, well, there's no point in cutting one meter off and wasting it. Of course, we may as well just add it on. Now you've got two fabrics in this one, as you can see there. So you've got a lovely grey, and then you've got the cream one as well. Two beautiful, beautiful fabrics, all and rolled into one. These Sixteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Are limited pence. edition. They will not be coming back. So whatever stock we've got here now, that is it. Game over. I'm not re-rolling them again. <laughs> okay. Right. You've, heard it, you've heard it here first. <laughs> Get that was to the quite point. grumpy, wasn't it? I'm not uh, doing yeah, it, it was. again. It was. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really like this. I like the uh, right. the colours in here. I forgot the swatches for this one. You did but indeed. You've got a dusky pink one. Yes, so I like the, that. So the pink flowers that are on the front there. Yep. It's kind of that colour background. Right. With got different colour flowers on. I think um, that's. And then the last one you've got is a really kind of deep navy. Yeah, I think that might be my nice favourite. That might be my favourite. I love that. That's very vintage. Yes. Beautiful colours. Really, really cute. Uh, and then there's 33 metres in that one, in yep. your florals. Then the <laughs> next one is your dragonfly. You've got some bees on there as well. And if I just turn that to side, you can so see that subtle change in this difference one I of colours as well. I should have brought swatches for because your top one, you've got uh, dragonflies on a white background. Dragonflies, bees, flowers. We've purposefully picked prints that aren't directional so that um, you can have these kind of any way up because the dragonflies are flying in all directions, the bees are flying in all directions. So you can kind of use these um, lots of different ways up. The next colour in there is a lighter blue background. You can see it there and it's got exactly those same patterns on, but on a light blue background. And the third fabric that's in there takes out some of the elements of the one you can see on the top there. That what I would say is your feature fabric. And then the other one's more densely packed with a lot of the elements that you can see on there, but not actually the dragonfly. So it's all flowers and things. Love that. £29.99, saving £5, 215330. We're very busy for all of those. Doesn't surprise me. What a fabulous deal. But as Hayley said, when they're gone, they're gone. When they're gone, they're gone. Right, let's move over because we've got some more fabrics on a roll for you. We've got lots of options. Really, really handy. We've got all of the plain colours here, but we've got some great colours. 40 metres on each roll, £26.99. Uh, so you've got your pistachio, your baby blue eyes, you've got the silver, uh, lily the pink, you've got walking on the moon, uh, you've got your back to black down so there, the, you can see all the colours the on the website. The ones that you've done on the top, they're the new colours, they're right. on new editions, the uh, other colours we have had before, but those 
five on the top are our nice new ones and we've brought you lots of pastels because again that's what you asked us for so that's what we did yeah and pastels are always popular aren't they but we also have the, the sharper colors deeper colors for you as well so all kinds of different tones you can head to the website and see all of the deals for you and then you can check out your baskets and also turn that into a flexi buy if you're going for your one day special now we've got a happy hour deal for you and this happy hour deal is for this hour and this hour only i assume yes and it's two sets of fabric scissors, 13 pounds and 98 pence. Uh, great price, you get two 10 inch scissors. So you could have one for fabric, one for paper if you wanted to, or both for your fabric. Yes, that's what Haley's telling me. Well, you... Yes, yes. Kind of normal everyday everyday use but they've got really nice long blades which means if you've got if you're dressmaking and if you've got long straight bits to cut these are perfect because they've got a really good long blade on there so you can you can um it's just easier to cut straight yeah because if you try i mean this is this is the kind of <laughs> the extreme but if you're going from kind of you know really tiny blades like that we having to do lots of little snips you're going to gradually move your way off. If you've got long blades like that, where you can just do two or three larger snips, you're going to keep your lines much straighter. Are they sharp to the very edge? Yes. Good. Brilliant. Yeah, because some scissors <laughs> sometimes struggle, but you can see those are absolutely perfect for you. 637652. Now we have another happy hour deal for you. You've got two choices in this as well, and it's some fabric. So these are um, some of our honor rolls and we've called these our bands because as you can see, there are different bands of color within these. Now you get 10 meters of each color. So it's 40 meters in total. So on this one, which is the purple people eater, you've got um, ivory, is it ivory? Yes, it is ivory. Ivory through to the kind of lilacs and the, they've got proper names. So I think these ones are purple rain, purple haze and deep purple on this one. And then on the other one, we've got white, and then we've got two different greys. So it's Grateful Dead and Grey Day, and then through to the Back in Black. Brilliant, Some fantastic. Really useful ones and continuous pieces, 10 metres in each colour. Yeah, it certainly is useful. And you, it's useful to save £10 for this hour and this hour only, £19.99 pence with that happy hour deal, 031927. Right, I think we've seen everything on the counter now. Let's have a look at the okay. demonstration. So we are gonna go from from the start on this so you get two rolls in your one day special kit so this is the first one which is a five and a half inch calico now um you, you can't deny it looks like toilet roll well uh, so let's just get out of the way and move on i was on. thinking more <laughs> kitchen roll <laughs> let's just, or let's medicated just... toilet roll i don't know no, med <laughs> Moving on, moving on. Okay. <laughs> so you just, get a medicated toilet roll. I'm just trying to thing. move on from the medicated toilet roll and you've gone back there. You've gone, don't go there, what's wrong with you? <laughs> okay, so well, one of the things that you will need to add to your one day special, sorry, I should not talk and rip at the same time. <laughs> okay, so what we are gonna do with this is any of your scrap, your scrap box is perfect for this. So all those bits that you've cut off previous projects, this is what you're gonna add to this. So let me get some other darker colors so you can see, cause I've put a quite a beigey color on there. I'm just trying to get it to match in with the other one that we've got. Now we've had a question from Heather. It's a great question, Heather, thank you very much. How big will the completed quilt be? Oh, Hayley. Sorry, what? How big will the completed uh, quilt it be? It is 42 by 37. 42 by 37? Yes, inches. Excellent. Not centimetres, that would be quite little. Inches, inches. Yes. Um, so there's enough backing in there, there's enough of your um, sashing and border pieces to go in there. There's enough of this to make uh, that size quilt. And probably there's more than you need to go in there. So you'll have absolutely plenty at that. You're obviously getting 30 metres Oh, Janice, they were lovely. Now look at the state of them. Why? Look at the state of it. Because I know exactly what you've been doing. You've been making yourself a little, little wig, haven't you? I haven't. You have? Yeah. <laughs> I just uh, so wanted yeah, to get the match. It's really, this not. is a, like a, a really nice bundle just to have a bit of fun with so this is exactly what we're going to do and we're going to start 
by layering up loads of pieces on your roll. So this roll is going to be your backing piece. Now, I will say it's handy to kind of leave it on the roll while you're starting to put this together and then you can just do a bit at a time yep. and it makes it easier when you get to your sewing machine as well because you're not dealing with one huge long bit that's all over the place so what i'm doing is just placing some bits down i've got no adhesive or anything on here because i'm not particularly worried about it not being straight i want that kind of rough and ready and vintage look and we're not a... washing anything before we put it together, are we, no, really? No, no, I, I, I don't think you need to for this. Because okay. of the type of quilt it is, it needs to be looking kind of quite rough and ready. If I put that bit in there, you'll be able to see some of the bits that we've already added to the one that you've got over there. These are a couple of little offcuts that came from there. And the bits of fabric are just going down completely randomly. You're just chucking anything in. But if you have got a feature fabric, like this one that I've got here, let me pop that on there you can kind of cut feature bits out of this. So for example, if I wanted to take this here and perhaps I wanted to take it out as like a, almost like a clamshell kind of shape, yeah. then I can do that and have kind of feature pieces on there as well as my just random rough, torn, ripped, cut, whatever you've got left over. It's nice to do these as memory pieces as well using old bits of clothing That'd be a nice idea. Because I guess, Hayley, could you make the quilt a little bit bigger if you had some extra backing to oh, add yeah, to yeah. it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got the, these rolls available as, as extra ones, and we've also got this exactly the same colour as the ivory that's within the kit. That's as a 40-metre roll as well. So you can extend this as much as you want to. So let me just clear those off. So we've got a little feature piece that we're going to add in there. And all you're going to do is keep building these pieces up. Let me get a few more bits and bobs on there and then we'll start to show you how to get all this sewn down. So when you sew it down, you can use, um, well, you can use any method you want, really. You're just wanting to hold all this. I'm really sorry, I'm going to have to rip again. There you go. <laughs> but... Can you see how this is now starting to build up? I'm going to go for those long scissors again because I can get those nice, big, long, straight lines. I don't need to worry about the edges too much because when I put this together, let me just grab one or two of these and see. Sometimes there's little bits I've got on the back here that are just overlapping a little bit. Yeah. And what I tend to do is before I start stitching it together, I'll just straighten those off to the same size as the fabric was before I start. Now we've had a sellout already, already on the happy hour deal. Yes, the purple people eater. I believe you've got that with you there, Hayley. I have. Um, it's gone, it's gone and sold out. Now you can still get fade uh, to gray. That is still available tip. for you. 40 um, meters uh, on that roll, but the purple pe oh. people Purple people, Hang Peter on. has sold out. But who out. says he's gonna catch it? He says it's gonna be fine. Well, health and safety, be careful. Yeah, and enough. he did. That wasn't a particular right good throw. now. I, I've I got apologize. some news on this beautiful, beautiful fabric roll. The supermarket flowers. It's limited stock. Is it limited? It is. It's gone limited stock, um, and it's not coming back. So uh, grab that whilst you can. It's absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, ditzy design. And then you've got the two colourways in there, which is wonderful, isn't it? Sixteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Limited stock, though. Time to get that in your basket and check out six eight six zero five seven. Back to Haley. So I'm going to put one more piece of fabric in and then we're going to take this over and start stitching it. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm varying the fabrics. Now the reason that um, I wouldn't wash this first is because I would stick anything in this. I would really stick all sorts in it. So ribbons, I mean this is a, a piece of um, uh, like a dupion satin kind of thing you can chuck anything at this and because all those fabrics are going to wash and kind of move at different rates i wouldn't worry about it too much and just get it looking nice because this kind of scruffy kind of quilting method yeah. the more it's roughed up and and you know moved about the better, the better it starts it to look um, so just to let everyone know at home we have just sold out of the supermarket flowers um on a roll so sorry that's all gone now but you can have a look at the other ones that are available to you Haley. okay so i'm just popping pins just in each of the pieces just to hold those in place when we start to put this together and the method that i used on the one that you've got as a sample over there yeah is I've used just diagonal 
I don't know, maybe you can see a little bit better on this one because I've used a white thread, but I've just used diagonal stripes on this one because that's going to hold everything in place. And all I'm doing at the minute is putting a, like a background okay. on. I wouldn't at this point get involved with putting um, things like the fibers on because you want a solid base to work from first. So that's what we're doing. We're just establishing that solid base to work from. So we'd put maybe so, the fibers and the buttons and embellishments yes, on afterwards. Yes, that's all kind of a little bit later on. Yep. Um, so we're going to get to that in a second. So I'm just going to move in this machine. Just while you do that, I just want to show everyone at home the two different panels. You might be thinking, oh, how can I make a, a choice? This is your vintage. It's the same images on each one, but that's your vintage. So you've got the, um, like the tea stained elements. So you've got tickets, you've got logos, you've got emblems. Absolutely fantastic. Love that. So that's your vintage with the sepia colour. And then I'll take this one away. You've got a hint of colour in the next one. Same images, but a hint of colour. I keep changing my mind. One minute I like the vintage, and then I like a hint of colour. They are even Stevens when it comes to popularity. Um, I don't know which. I think I think I think I like the hint of colour. I've got my I've got my anti-social sewing machine today. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, the, the cotton, the fabrics are 100% quilting cotton. So if you want to play with them and add, you know, stains, inks, dyes to them first, if it's going to be a kind of more of a showpiece, then that's fine. If it's going to be one that you are going to wash, just make sure that those inks and dyes and stains will be permanent if you are going to go ahead and wash it. But it's 100% cotton, so you can add all of that and throw everything at it before you start cutting it up and adding those bits in. I think they're fabulous. So that's the choice in the kits. Just the two colours that you've got, or the two colourways, the vintage, which is the sepia, or you've got a little hint of colour. And then, of course, your threads and your buttons will coordinate with the actual panels you're going with. So your vintage, you've got all the lovely colours for your vintage. You've got some browns in there. You've got some pearls. You've got some pearlescence, uh, some purple and some natural wood ones in there, which is great. And then with the hint of colour, you can see you've got your pinks, your purples, some nice little greens in there as well so it's more <coughs> brightly colored and you've also got your fibers in there as well which correspond so it's a great deal you also get your strips and you get your backing fabric as well two payments of 20 pounds 291 329 is your item number for your one day special so it's a great project to have uh, it's a great project to sit down and maybe do with yourself or other members of the family or how about this why don't you treat yourself to one and why don't you treat someone one else to the other and you could both make it at the same time it will look different but you can go through the process together and that's really nice you can also personalize it as well maybe you've got some old fabric material that you've been thinking i need to do something with this it's like a memory quilt isn't it um then you've got the opportunity to do that i know people do that with uh, some older clothes or maybe their christening outfit or something like that um it'll give you a good chance to make that memory quilt so your choice is your vintage or your hint of color 291 329 your item number two payments of 20 pounds that's your one day special back to Hayley hi <laughs> they've given me a booster seat <laughs> I thought you were I thought she was sitting on a couple of uh, phone books <laughs> but they're phone yeah. <laughs> they've given me a booster cushion but um, it's well this is what I've got two fantastic machines um, and I usually demonstrate on the uh, 100Q and it's exactly for this reason because this is a fantastic machine this is the J35 but it's not made for telly, <laughs> is it? It's not made for telly, but we're all right. So we're all we, right. We'll I'm get gonna... close upon the fabric so okay. you can lift that up. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you first of all the diagonal lines, and this is why I said before to keep it on its roll because this is going to make your life so much easier. Because you're going to keep the roll to the back over this side, and then you are going to stitch. I'm going to just widen that stitch out a little bit so it goes a bit quicker want to stitch in our diagonal line now this is an automatic cut on and that's why I've brought this machine so I'm just using the foot as a guide and then I'm kind of lining it up with us first row stitching so whatever angle you start on 
stick with it. It doesn't have to be a set angle with this. It, there's a lot of freedom in this. And if you want to use decorative stitch, absolutely do it. Go for it if you want. If you've got the capability to put text in there, you know, you can put some kind of hidden words in as well. You can have a lot of fun with this kind of work. I mean, so you might have some of your own buttons to put in there and your own pieces of Absolutely. Uh, fabric, this is what it's about. We're thread. giving you the starting point and the kind of little bit of inspiration. And it's for you to take it from there and then kind of run with it. So we're just going to keep going. And the cut facility on this does make it a little bit quicker because obviously I can just cut it off and then restart the row rather than going back and forth. Now, I would definitely recommend doing that cutting it off and keep coming in the same direction because you can see my rolls over here it's out the way it's not I'm not having to drag it all over the place now if I was to keep turning that round and going in the opposite direction then that's when it starts getting messy but it all this is going to be hidden once we stitch it together so we don't need to worry about that too much so we keep sewing in those diagonal lines and just keep an eye on where your pins are and where those fabrics are overlapping because sometimes they're going to overlap nicely like that one where I can just sew straight over the top and then other ones like the one we're coming to shortly will be going in the other direction so I'm now get rid of this pin there you go so I'll put a few more of these in do you fancy doing a little tiny recap uh, yes, well, yes, I, I do can. a few more of these. Yeah, absolutely. Now, let's remind you of the half metre pieces. We're very busy for these. They're fabulous. And they've got a little bit of sparkle in there. Got a little bit of sparkle. We also have some strip rolls available for you. And that's a different item number. But it might be worth going and having a look at these to correspond with the fabrics that you're buying here in the half metres. We've got three sets of those. Now, you get two bonus patterns included with your pick and mix. And they are to create and make two wonderful bags. You don't have to use these fabrics. You can use any fabrics to make these. Full instructions and your patterns included. And you choose any three half metres. So let's take you through your colours. You've got your ruby, which is very vibrant red. You've got your moonstones, beautiful pink. You've also got your pink sapphire, which is a deeper pink. Love that. Love the amethyst because it looks like an amethyst as well. Um, absolutely beautiful. I know here on our monitors it looks a bit blue, but that is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. I'm sure you're getting that at home. Then you've got your onyx. Your onyx is a lovely slate grey. You've got your sapphire, that deep midnight blue. The next one is your opal. So you've got your opal there, which again is a lovely blue. Uh, more of an, an aqua blue. This is your topaz. Beautiful, that. You can really see the uh, white in the background. You've got Lucy in the sky with diamonds. You also have a black pearl, like that. You've got your mother of pearl, which is a nicer, lighter grey. Really nice. Very subtle, that one. Uh, golden brown texture like sun you also have your diamonds are a girl's best friend you've got gold finger mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you've got emerald there which is gorgeous those two colors go really well together actually they go very very well together right I know it just keeps there I need I need the weight can I can I just pull pull these a little bit more just so it doesn't fall down and keep going keep going is that I don't want it too far down because then I won't be able to read the colours. <laughs> I could always move the stickers, but that would take a lot of effort. Let's move on. OK. Uh, right, let's talk about the blue one. These are limited editions, and once they've gone, they've gone. This one is sensational. I love this. How busy are we for this particular one? Half the stock has gone. Really like the colours in that. Isn't that beautiful? So it's the same pattern. The first set uh, has the blue in the background. And if I turn that to the side, you see we've got that lovely dusky pink and then the darker blue. Still the same pattern. Love that. Uh, I'd definitely go for that. Um, 33 metres on that one. £24.99. So then you have got your dragonflies and your bees. Now over half the stock has gone of that. Really nice, delightful colours in that one. So almost like a country cottage style isn't it? It's beautiful. So you've got your creams and you've got your lilacs, £29.99 and you get 36 metres on that one. How sensational is that? Uh, right, the happy hour rolls that we've got, we've got one left which is the black and that's limited stock. 
the purple people eater went and now the black roll is limited stock 40 meters 19 pounds and 99 pence um, just to show you the width of that particular roll Hayley has it with her they're all um, two and a half inches two and a half inches excellent because that's the size that will work with all of your jelly rolls it will work with um you know jelly rolls swiss rolls freedom rolls strip rolls that all the same size two and a half inches it's just i think it's got illusion? a bigger hole it probably well, has got we've a now hole. managed to jigger things about so we can put smaller um centers in yeah it just so it's, it must be an illusion better. it looks larger than two and a half inches but it no, is two and a half it is inches. two and a half inches they're all two and a half inches um, wide and you can always use the roll that's in there as a project for something yeah absolutely yeah. why not yeah you certainly why could not? you certainly could okay uh, so that's your happy hour deal and oh we're, te we're technically sold out just by showing it there catch technically sold out so well done if you got that one. Oh, oh he's dear. not there oh he's coming I'm, it's fine I, 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 I just, oh yeah oh that was a better throw wasn't it yeah. okay right let's go <laughs> okay. back to the one day special <laughs> and back to Hayley okay so next step is to be uh looking at adding some of the extra bits some of the embellishments that we um have put with the bundle so one of those options is adding some of your that's just thread from when I was sewing, actually, but that's quite nice. We'll keep that. Um, <laughs> it's, it's actually thread that's come off of this one here, this kind of dupion style one, this kind of sparkly, light coloured one. Okay. So we might hang on to that. But there's loads and loads of different fibres and yarns and things in here. So let me pick a sparkly one. Let's have a little sparkly one in here. So there's absolutely tons in there and it doesn't always have to be like a big kind of squiggly thing like that because that's not always what, what people want and it's nice to sometimes just put it on as a little, a little band across there. Now if you're going to do that I would recommend working with a, a little zigzag stitch, quite a wide zigzag stitch but a little zigzag stitch to hold that in place and you can use um, something like a cording foot or a piping foot that's got a little channel underneath to hold that in the centre for you while you zigzag over it. Could yes. you hand stitch that afterwards? Absolutely. I mean, that'd be a nice little Absolutely. sort of evening project to do. Yeah, what's, once you've got your roll together. What's the stitch that looks like um, like a S that goes up? Oh, I know what you mean. Um, right, so what you would do is you do two rows of running stitch yes. and then thread this through it in That's and out it. so it goes that would like look quite a, nice, an S. Keeping some Absolutely. together. Absolutely, you can hand stitch any of these on. Obviously some of the bigger, chunkier ones that might be in there. If that's too big to add on, then you can always uh, split them down. This one is actually kind of four ply in there. So you can split those down and add those in as well. So you can have, you know, you can, you can make your kind of directional things if you want, you can even write names and, and things like that into it if you wish otherwise you can just kind of have a bit of fun with these and you can splay these out even further some of them and make it almost like a felting fiber and they're really soft aren't they they are these really are all super, super soft. soft you've got some that are variegated like this one that starts in kind of you know pinks and oranges and goes through browns and greys so you've got lots and lots of different options in there. Um, I can't guarantee you'll get ones that are identical to this, but they'll be very, very similar. Um, the other element that comes with, there's two other elements actually, you've got your bag of buttons that's in there. Now there's 50 grams of buttons in here, and 50 grams of buttons is quite a lot of buttons. If I just uh, shuffle those along a little bit, there's quite a lot of buttons in there. And you can... Um, play and have a lot of fun with these because if you have a look at some of the embellishments there's a lot which are kind of sewing related so if we're maybe going to add some of them on now this one I've just added a bit of fusible webbing onto the back of just because I um it was going to be quicker for me for demonstrating on on tv okay. you can of course stitch these on so I'm just going to quickly iron that in place because I can then take one of the buttons that I've got within my set maybe on a slightly bigger one than that, and then just replace it with one of those. So that's the one that I've just ironed on. And then okay. I can take one of my buttons, again, that one's a little bit small, and just replace it with that. So oh, you that can kind cool. of build up a 3D element to it. So you see, I mean, there's, there'll be loads of different ones. I think that one's a bit too 
uh, flower, floral for that particular application there. I would maybe put that kind of later on or further along. But something like that one, which exactly covers the, the, the button itself, is perfect. And then with this one, I can either line that up with one of the uh, needles or I could split the difference and have it going in between them. So you can have, you can have really good play with this. Yeah. And it's not about necessarily precision. It's not about doing anything to a great deal of accuracy. The one thing I would say is if you're adding uh, the logos and things on, just be aware of where you're placing them. So if you kind of know, uh, there are instructions to make a quilt in there and it will tell you how long each of those bits need to be to, to create the quilt that's the size that we said, the 37 inches by 42 inches. So it will give you a fixed sizes for each of the bits that you need to, to create. Now, if you want to work those as smaller bits, um, that's fine. However, what I would say is just be aware of your placement of your logos and things, because what you don't want to do is just kind of work your way all the way along and have things that maybe you're not going to get a full piece of. I quite like having half of them hanging off like that and then sewing them into the next one, because I think it just kind of adds it um, you know, adds a, an, an extra element to it that it is more kind of truly a random piece. Mm. But if you don't want that, then create, cut your pieces out first and then go ahead and, and attach these. The um, fibers I would put on at this stage as well. The buttons I would probably save until after you've done your um, stitching together. So the panel that you've got under the counter there, I would actually use that that point to add the buttons onto okay. because um, it's just going to go through your machine a lot easier without the bulk of having the buttons on there. When everything is put on, you've got your fibres on there, you've got your buttons on there, would you recommend this then being a quilt to use on the bed and you can wash because you'll have lots of buttons on there or would it be more of a decorative quilt I think that goes on top of the bed? If you're going to hand stitch a lot of bits on, I would probably recommend it be more decorative. I yeah. mean, you could still hand wash it. Yeah, you could. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. Not a problem. Just uh, whatever you're going to do with it, just bear that in mind. Uh, and how you attach things yeah. to it. Let me just turn this one around because you can see the strips that Hayley has created along the top there, down the side and along the bottom. But let me turn that around so you can see the mechanics oh, of how the workings. That's... I haven't trimmed the back Well, no, off. no, 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 no. This is, I just, I just want to show everybody because if anyone's new to patchworking or quilting, you can see that's in a strip. But when I turn that around, it kind of looks like you've got panels, like and one, you could also two, always go three. Back so in it makes it easier, this, you doesn't know, it? And you could, and add some of the embellishments and things to overlap the bits where you've joined it, where you've put the stitching in to kind of break that sewing line up and add some of the fibres, the buttons, the embellishments to make it look like it's one continuous piece. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a great way of starting your journey into patchwork in a very traditional way as well. So that's why I wanted to show you that it was just one panel like that. I guess there's nothing stopping you from making a panel and then slicing it into three or four and then mixing it around a little yeah, bit and changing the shape. Absolutely, if you're maybe going for a couple of different colourways, you could, um, as a beginner, great, because you can literally throw anything at this. Your stitching doesn't have to be straight, your stitching doesn't have to be that neat. You can throw everything at it and it'll, it will still look stunning when it, it comes out the other end. If you're more advanced, then you can start kind of playing around with a bit more of uh, techniques and how you place things and how you want things to look on the the other side of it to create something that can be absolutely stunning with this and, and I think what's nice about this as well you can actually do this with members of the family you could sit down and do it collectively uh, and then just bring all of that together so you've got something you could sit down with your daughter for example and you could do some with your daughter or you could hand it to your daughter you could hand it to your son you could hand it to your dad or well, your mum all they've got to do to is pin you. the pin the pieces on yeah you can then take it to the machine and and stitch it up oh, and add the other idea. embellishments and bits and pieces because the embellishments are there really just to kind of tie everything back together i mean why not have a different member of the family do each panel it'll tell you what size to cut each strip yeah, to work that's a on great idea and get everybody in the family to do a, yeah. a strip of their own it's, it's a brilliant idea it really is and it's a way of bringing you all together so let's talk about your one day special you've got two choices you've got one in the vintage that's the color of the panel and then you've got your um 
your hint of colour. So let's take you through exactly what you're getting. Let's start with the vintage first of all. So the panel. The panel, um, I've got one under here. Let me show you this. I want to show you the full panel. The panels are the same, but one is in sepia and the other one has that hint of colour. Let me get this the right way round for you and bring that in. So you have a good size there with all your tickets on there and your logos. Absolutely fantastic. Take a few moments when you get this home just to have a look at a peruse. And then you can cut those out individually if you want to, or you can chop them up into mini blocks if you wish let's take that away you are getting your fibers now these are beautiful and you get a substantial amount on there that you can then let me turn it that way you can then start to divide into it and start to pull the fibers about and start to build and create your designs even if you just got one piece of that fiber there and just placed it across or maybe turn it into a little bit of an infinity sign or a crisscross or start to divide those up like so so you get your fibres included. You also get your buttons. So you've got plenty of buttons in there. Now the buttons coordinate with the colour. So the vintage, you'll get vintage coloured buttons. With the hint of colour, you get the beautiful coloured buttons. And you also get your, is this your button threader? What? <laughs> oh no, that's your um, bias. bias uh, it's a tape it. maker. Sorry, yes, it's it. not, yeah, it's not bias. bias. It's, um, uh, okay. it's a uh, tape maker, so that's going to make your binding that's it, for the binding. edge of your quilt. Uh, you also get your backing. Sorry. Now, the size of Carry the backing on. that you're getting included in this deal is 34 by 37. 37 by 42 and then you get your rolls to start creating those designs on there and then your fabric to go in between so you get a great deal and it's 20 pounds a day and 20 pounds in a month's time all you need to do is choose whether you go for the vintage or you go for the hint of colour I keep changing my mind I like the hint of colour then I go back to the vintage and then I go back to the hint of colour again but in the lead at the moment is the vintage that's interesting in the lead at the moment is the vintage so it's entirely up to you what you go for if you want to pay for it in one sitting 39.99 uh, you're saving 15 pounds on that one day special price it gets better and better when you think about it we think about what you can do with it and when when you think about who you can do it with you know sit down with your family and friends and create something create a memory quilt which is amazing isn't it your details at the top of the screen 291329 is your item number that's your one day special how long have we got left on this particular show we've got less than five minutes do we still have the scissors available as a happy hour we do we've got two sets of fabric scissors 10 inch scissors they are a happy hour deal but only for this hour we've been selling out of the other happy hour deals we've had in the hour 13 pounds and 98 pence 637 652 is your item number there they are and they are sharp right to the tip which of course is really really important when you're doing anything with your um with your fabric right so your one day special pop that into your basket sit back and relax and watch the rest of the demonstrations we've got about four minutes left Arhie. okay well what we'll do is we will very quickly put one of these um strands of fibers in so this is a quarter of a strand of one of these kind of big chunky ones that i've got here i mean that's nothing it's a quarter of a tiny tiny bit and you can see how far these are kind of going to go so I actually quite like that little bit of a, a curl on it. So I'm going to leave that in and I'm going to take to the machine and sew it on. So let me just slide this back a bit. And again, keeping that roll, you'll be able to just kind of work on it and then roll it back up and put it away and then cut it off as you go. Hayley, so, if we didn't want to make the quilt, could we make other projects? Maybe just long strips oh yeah, of, absolutely. of, of if like a memory strip? If you want to make a whole strip of fat, the, the quilt pattern comes with it, that's a bonus. If you don't want to make the quilt pattern with it, you can make other things with it. You could just maybe make cushions or anything you like, really. it's um, You're creating one great big long kind of collage piece of fabric. So I've got a, a zigzag stitch on here and it's quite wide. Uh, left to right is kind of the full width of the foot but it's also quite wide in terms of how the amount that it the feed dogs feed the fabric through because this needs to be quite chunky and I want the whatever's underneath it to be visible yeah um through the thread so I'm just going to take the speed down on this as well because I don't want it to just run away with me because I need to be moving this left and right as I go to keep that kind of almost curly element to this as we stitch it down. I think so I'm just allowing that to mm. sit where it wants. 
and then just trying to keep up with it in terms of me stitching where it wants to be. I'm just going to move that around. And that is the other advantage of keeping it on the roll is if you need to move that whole thing around, you just pick up the roll and pivot it and you don't have to kind of fight with the whole thing and you can roll it back on as well so you can have a roll either side as if you want to. So I'm just going to pull that straight a little bit um, and then come back across. I think these strips would be nice collectively as a bag. Yeah, why not? I mean, mm. do them in different colours and then piece them all together for a bag. For, How I mean, about it's a jacket? Cali How it's about calico. a jacket, Hayley? The backing By of a jacket. Uh, why not? Yeah. I mean, all you're doing is you're creating your own fabric. Yeah. You're creating your own fabric and then how you put that together and stitch it into something else is entirely up to you. But what you will find is because it's a good quality calico that's on the backing, which is the, the roll that you start with, and then all of those extra bits that you're adding to it is going to make it quite... Oh, stiff's not quite the word, but it's going to make it um, reasonably solid, which means that you'll be able to use it for heavier weight things. So bags, yeah. perfect. Seat covers and things... Seat brilliant covers, for that as well idea. because the more it gets roughed up and the more it gets worn in the better it looks mm. so because any you want of those, that vintage element as, don't as you? we like to say high traffic areas high traffic areas. brilliant for that high traffic cushions we like well, that. well I, do, I, do, I don't think i've got any high traffic areas well, no, in my house at the moment cushions, after the past 18 which months. are like the ones on your sofa that you sit on all the time yes of course. and then there's the cushion that goes on the chair that nobody's ever allowed to sit on and you're not allowed to touch Yes. Why is that? I don't know, but I, I'm high trafficking today. A decorative chair. This kind of technique is going to look a million times better. How about? Once it's got a bit of age how to about it. on a table with some glass on top? That would be amazing because you can have all your memories underneath. It'd be a Perfect. talking point. Uh, Haley, we're back at eight o'clock tonight. Well, let's do that then. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> uh, thank you for this hour. Do check out your baskets. Go and have a look on the website. We've had quite a few sellouts, so you do need to go and check what's still available. And we'll see you back at eight o'clock tonight with another edition of your one day special and more demonstrations if you've got any questions you can still email them in we'll get them to Hayley and answer them in a later uh, hour at eight o'clock so it is studio at thecraftstore.com it's been great to have your company but stay where you are because we've got more to come here on the craft store in fact we're live all the way through until 10 p.m <laughs>